In my State of Science videos, I talk about where various coronavirus vaccines are in the development process. Likewise, in one of my previous videos, I talked about what the world will look like following the coronavirus. In this video, I would like to talk about what the world will look like immediately after the first coronavirus vaccine comes out. The first thing we should talk about is the Russian coronavirus vaccine that is already out. I will not consider that vaccine as the first coronavirus vaccine because it has skipped phase 3 testing and is thus viewed with skepticism by most of the world and by the WHO. Although Putin did say that he gave it to his daughter, it is highly likely that people will come down with dangerous side effects down the line or the vaccine may not be that effective in the first place. With that being said, let's now jump into the main discussion at hand. What will the world look like once the first batches of the coronavirus vaccine comes out? The first important point to focus on is that there is currently a wealth gap in access to the coronavirus vaccine supply. Rich nations such as the United States and Britain have bought large quantities of vaccines that are already in development. In fact, they have bought so much of the world's vaccine supplies that they can afford to give each citizen several times more doses than they actually need. For instance, most vaccines require only two doses per person. However, as you can see from this Reuters article, Britain has bought 340 million vaccines from Johnson & Johnson and Novavax despite having a population of only 66 million people. Likewise, the US has bought 600 million vaccines, or about two times the US population size, enough to inoculate just about everybody if you discount the large population of anti-vaxxers in the US. On the other hand, poor and middle-income nations have not yet secured any vaccines. To be fair, however, they have handled the coronavirus situation better than the US has and thus have far fewer cases. Regardless, however, once the first vaccines are out, there will be a scramble to get whatever doses the rich nations have not yet bought. And this will have societal effects on who can ease social distancing the fastest. Assuming the vaccines come out sometime around January of 2021, rich nations like the US will be able to ease social distancing measures by March of 2021, after people have taken two doses of the vaccine and have waited for the interim period of 28 days after each shot. On the other hand, because it takes so much time for vaccines to be made, poor and middle-income nations will have to wait months or even years before they can ease social distancing measures. This means that they will be stuck in social distancing until 2022 or beyond. However, one obstacle that stands between true inoculation of the population in the US is anti-vaxxers. And this leads us to a very interesting dilemma for the US government. Not everyone is able to get vaccinated due to underlying health conditions and this means that anti-vaxxers will be a risk to those people because of a lack of herd immunity. As such, the US government will be faced with making the choice of possibly forcing these people to get vaccinated, with the punishment for non-compliance being getting cut off from various welfare programs, or letting the anti-vaxxers be. Unfortunately, this is a question that we cannot predict the answer to here at The Futurist Tom. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, joining our Discord server, or becoming a Patreon. Likewise, please watch either Why the Smallest Aliens Are the Deadliest or Terraforming Mars, Making the Red Planet Green. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.